how did Kui Levy get started? Uh, Lehua and I were playing music together for about 10, 12 years, and along the way we started writing songs and wanting to do more of our own music as a duo, and we brought Kubiko in to do um, some tracks uh, in the studio, and we just loved the synergy of all playing together, and um, it turned into, the conversation was, uh, how's about we just put a band together? <laughs> and so we said we needed a, a name for the group, and. Lehua right off the bat said, what about Kulivi? Literally, it just popped into my head and then I had to actually go look it up and see what it meant because I didn't even really know for sure. And then, yeah, I found out that it actually literally meant the land where my ancestors' bones are buried. And I thought, well, that, that's very fitting and it also stands for us because our ancestors' DNA is within us also, you know, as we carry this story, as we carry our songs forward. We've worked with so many other people over the years, but when the concept and the window and I guess the moment that was happening to, to just seize what's happening, what this thing has done is given us focus and purpose. I'm just so honored to be with these guys doing what we're doing.
know, we celebrate hula, and that's why we consider Pono part of our group, is because we feel that's the other half to the melee. Mm. You know, it's not just an adornment or something that just accompanies what we do. It really is, um, you know, a muse to our writing, to the way that we perform things. So Kekuhi Kanahele told me once that our ancestors thought in images. And I think, you know, when you think about Mele Hawaii, you think, oh, so pretty the mountain, so pretty the flower, so, so beautiful the ocean. Yes, but it's because our ancestors had such a deep relationship with Aina that they could see those images, that they created those names, that they relied on those places for survival and for for their for life for beyond survival to be thriving that relationship that they had with Aina allowed that to happen
the word that comes to my mind is experience. Like the song, Eo Kukia Imauna. I was just watching the events unfold on evening news every night. I felt like the inspiration, I guess. Seeing the kupuna, seeing the series of events unfold. Literally, the, the song kind of wrote itself. I'm just grasping on to all the visuals and the audible stuff that was happening. So I just gather that and compile it into what I feel is I'm just expressing through the song what we're seeing happening real time. So I think and as far as the composition side, it's, it's everyday life experiences.
Eu cuki a imauna. Mo'olelo is our history, it's not just our stories. It, it is to mark what events occurred so that we will never forget. Elili Ue was written back in 2018. It was actually when um, there was a hurricane coming and we we're all locked down and didn't have anything to do. Um, woke up the next morning and I had a, a thought, a, a dream about, for some reason it was about the Queen. And we always talk about how we feel you know, going through the overthrow and, and what our people still struggle with today and the generational trauma that uh, many of us suffer from. But to think about what she must have been feeling at that time, you know, when she was in prison in the palace and, and the, the visualization of that. So I thought if I could write a letter to her to tell her that we still love her and support her. And so I started writing a letter to her and, and just visualizing what we would say to her through this letter.
I think the history that we all have, mm. the hundred plus years, if you put us all together, of music that we've, we've shared, um, it just, yeah, the, the maturity of it, you know, everybody knows what they're supposed to do and we do it and we do it with joy and we do it yeah. with purpose and, you know, um, and we do it because we love it and not yeah. because we have to. And it really is us um, raw, you know, in our raw elements, like um, all our songs, everything that we say on stage, everything that we sing, everything that we dance, that we say in interviews, it, it really is us, you know, it's not rehearsed. We live our culture, we live our olalo, we live our hula, we live our music, you know, and we really want to continue to um, inspire others to, to do that as well. I feel like music is almost like a map. You can map your memories onto music. You hear a song and it takes you someplace. You hear a song and you have this memory of a person or someplace that you've been. And it's the same thing with our culture. Mele are maps of our culture. And if we don't write new music today, then our children's 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 seven generations down the road, they're not gonna know what our experience was. And so, you know, we're really stepping into our kuleana here as storytellers through our music, through our hula, through our mo'olalo, so that there will always be aloha aina generations to come. And I think this is just the beginning, so we feel like there's more kuleana for us to um, stay focused and, and stay busy, inspiring and writing, and uh, being a voice and uh, sharing it with our lahui and Hawaiians, not Hawaiians, and visitors alike, they're grasping onto the music, they're loving it, and we have our work cut out for us. <laughs>